Omar Rodriguez, the man convicted of murdering his neighbor, unleashed a violent outburst during his sentencing hearing, shocking everyone present. Handcuffed, dressed in an orange prison jumpsuit, and sitting alone in the jury box, Rodriguez listened as Lisette Ray, the widow of his victim, Jose Ray, spoke out against him. Her words clearly struck a nerve. Suddenly, Rodriguez removed his face mask and erupted in a rage, screaming, Your husband was a coward? That's why I killed him! The courtroom was thrown into chaos. Corrections officers rushed to restrain him, dragging him out as he continued shouting obscenities. Even from a holding cell behind closed doors, his profane tirade could still be heard. Despite this terrifying interruption, Lisette Ray composed herself and continued. I beg your honor, the harshest sentence imposed to the coward, the murderer. This sentencing marked the conclusion of a long and harrowing legal journey for the Ray family. In May, a jury convicted Rodriguez of second-degree murder for the death of 52-year-old Jose Ray, a senseless killing rooted in an absurdly trivial dispute. Rodriguez claimed that Ray's dog had defecated on his son's lawn in Kendall, sparking a series of confrontations that escalated into murder. But the truth, as neighbors would later reveal, was that this incident was just the tipping point. I wish, though, that the death sentence would have been on the table, because at the end of the day, Mr. Rodriguez will continue to see his family. They'll, they'll be able to visit him and see him. I'll never get to see my husband again. For years, Rodriguez had terrorized his neighbors, consistently finding ways to evade law enforcement despite the chaos he caused. And find Mr. Rodriguez, the defendant, guilty of first degree premeditated murder and guilty of assault with an aggravation against Lee Ray. On Thursday, Miami Dade Circuit Court Judge Milton Hirsch handed down a life sentence with a minimum of 25 years to be served before any chance of parole. Given that Rodriguez is 75 years old, this effectively means he will die behind bars. The possibility of the death penalty had been taken off the table earlier by the jury, but the life sentence brought closure to the Ray family, who felt justice had been served. During the proceedings, Assistant State Attorney Kimberly Rivera presented a recording in which Rodriguez demonstrated his lack of remorse for the killing. If I had to do it all over again, I'd do it the same way, Rodriguez coldly stated. His words highlighted just how dangerous he was. He's one of the most dangerous felons I've ever prosecuted, Rivera said to the judge. He needs to be removed from society for the rest of his life. Despite the overwhelming evidence of his guilt and the terror he inflicted, Rodriguez's defense attorney, Bruce Lehrer, painted a different picture of the man. Lehrer described Rodriguez's promising early life, how he excelled at basketball at Miami Edison High School and was offered a scholarship to the University of Florida. Rodriguez went on to earn multiple degrees, including one in psychology, and became a math teacher in Little Havana. He had been married for 48 years, had a son, and four grandchildren. I ask you to consider the 66 years of his life when he was a productive member of society, a good one, Lehrer pleaded with the judge, attempting to humanize his client. However, those 66 years were not the full story. Neighbors had long been terrorized by Rodriguez, whose aggressive behavior escalated for decades. From Coral Gables to Kendall, he had a reputation for violent confrontations, threats, and general hostility. His neighbors lived in fear of him, with some filing complaints that dated back to the early 1990s. One frustrated neighbor even wrote to then-Governor Lawton Chiles, warning that Rodriguez was a menace who possessed guns, declared war on the community, and once threatened a lawn worker with a machete. Despite his long history of violence and erratic behavior, Rodriguez had mostly managed to avoid serious criminal charges until the day he killed Jose Ray. The fateful encounter occurred in June 2015. On that day, 
Rodriguez followed the Rays as they walked their dog. After a confrontation, Jose Ray took the dog home, but when the couple resumed their walk, they found Rodriguez waiting for them, shirtless and ready for a fight. In a burst of violence, Rodriguez shot Jose Ray three times, leaving him to die on the street. When Lisette Ray rushed to her husband's side to comfort him, Rodriguez threatened her as well. A subsequent investigation by the Miami Herald uncovered just how many complaints neighbors had filed against Rodriguez. More than 140 in the seven years leading up to Ray's murder. Despite the volume of complaints, the police often claimed the incidents didn't quite reach the level of criminal behavior. This allowed Rodriguez to continue terrorizing those around him, his actions seemingly just beyond the grasp of law enforcement. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our latest content. We dive into the most intriguing and shocking crime stories each week, and your support means the world to us. Until next time, stay safe and take care of yourself. See you in the next video.